What's going on guys? Uh, Johnny Collector 321 here. And I haven't done a video in a while, obviously. I've um, just been busy with other stuff and doing some work and stuff. I uh, doing, you know, work, you know, what not working. Um, reorganized my whole collection. You guys could see everything's on the shelf now. This is all Christmas and then this is all Halloween and other stuff. Um, anyways, um, obviously Halloween's approaching pretty soon, so. Um, I'm starting to go through all my Halloween stuff and get all my Halloween stuff ready. So the first one I have here that I'm preparing and getting ready is this ghost. Um, he's supposed to be color changing when it got him. He has no fan. He's got a ton of rips in him. You guys could see these are knotted off right here. The reason for that is I did that because there's holes up here like all over the place I got to sew and stuff. Once I sew that, then I'll untie them, obviously. But there's a big hole I sewed right there. A big gash I sewed right there. And you guys know this thing's 2021. But I got, I mean, I got it for free in a trade, so I'm not complaining. But it's completely thin. All the LEDs are blown out, so no more colored LEDs. Um, I gave it four C7s, but I'm going to give it a fifth and a sixth, I think. Probably one up there and then one in the middle, because there's two and it's like mouth and eyes area. And then there's like one there, like one there. So maybe one like right there and then one like up there just to light up his eyes and stuff, so. Yeah, um, like I said, this thing's completely thin, so I had this fan on it earlier. Um, I painted the entire front of his body, the whole front, his arms, his arms, the front of, and then the front of his arms. Uh, I'm gonna do the back maybe. Um, uh, I painted him with this. Um, it works great. It's you know, the same stuff as this. I got two cans because I actually used this to fix a ton of my inflatables. Um, I didn't want to talk about it until I was completely certain about it and 100% sure, but it's to the point where I know it works, it works good. And I know how to use it well. So, you know, I figured I'd go ahead and mention it here on YouTube. Um, you know, like I said, I didn't want to mention it because I didn't want to have people do it unless I was 100% sure on it. But this stuff works. I've painted quite a few that were completely thin when I first got them. I painted my ugly sweater party. I painted the jazz band. Remember my train for my display last year, you guys? If you guys remember that thing. That train, yeah, it was completely shot last year. Completely fixed him and a few others. So yeah, this stuff works. That's why I'm, my m and you guys remember, it was completely shot last year. The Santa chair was completely shot. I got him working with this stuff. So yeah, so I'm really happy with this stuff. And anyway, so yeah, um, it works and it doesn't like crease like the flex seal like flex seal or any of the other stuff people were using polyethylene whatever some of them it gets nice and crispy like this sometimes but um it depends on how you have it drying pretty much you get it if the inflatable is really tight it'll dry like this nice and crisp but it doesn't have to be nice and crisp because you can see i mean i know it's is white but you can see there's no i had to do it on the black right here which was painted over. You can see no creasing or anything when I crinkle it up. So, yeah, this stuff works good. But anyways, I'm going to give it um, a coating on the back too because I just did the front for now. But it has a YF60. It's original fan. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and crank it up because, yeah, I've been rambling on about this thing. So, yeah, this stuff works. I just painted I mean, I'm going to talk about it a little more after I inflate this thing and show it off. But, yeah, I just painted on with a regular... Um, like sponge paintbrush and it works great so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and plug them in so yeah there's a third yeah there's another one in here somewhere maybe caps blowing out or something it's blowing out or something so here's all it inflates it actually inflates pretty decent for what it is, uh, considering how bad it was before. Uh, obviously, I can't stand it up because it's too big, but he inflates a lot better than I did before. 
Um, so, yeah, that's, I don't know what else to say. It flips a lot better than he did before, which is really good. I'm going to fix the other side too later, so I don't have to pull. So I could get it nice and tight like it's supposed to be, but... Yeah, right now, I'm just going through all my Halloween stuff. I mean, you can see here, I got all my Halloween stuff put on the shelf. I'm gonna, just going through everything, fixing what needs fixed. So that way I can get ready for Halloween in a couple weeks. Well, a couple weeks, about a month, month and a half-ish. And then I got all my Christmas stuff here, guys. You can see how much Christmas stuff I have. I have a ton of really good gems I didn't ever show off, actually. Like, this is Halloween, I know, but I just put it here temporarily, like, Rudolph, I got three musical snowman, this nutcracker, Eminem, him, him. I mean, I got a ton of really great stuff that I'm going to put in my displays here. Christmas display is going to be massive this year. So, yeah, guys, stay tuned for that. But here's everything. Uh, light sink frosties in this box. I mean, everything's really, you know, whatever. It's really nice. But this is, you know, really nice pretty much. I'm, you know, glad this stuff works because I actually fixed like a 10, 15 maybe. Um... Him, I flex sealed, or I painted with that Rust-Oleum stuff I showed off. I only painted three with that. I painted this one, the other snowman, and this. Uh, but it was okay with those ones because they were white. But you can see, don't use that, guys. Because um, this it creases. Um, that like the fabric has to be like halfway melded for it to actually work. For it to actually stick, it can't be completely see-through. So, anyways. Um, I fixed the train. You guys remember him? He was shot last year. Fixed that. This is a 12 foot, 12 and a half foot classic snowman I got from Drew. Uh, shout out. You know, I don't think he even uses YouTube, but shout out to him. Uh, I got this thing from him in a trade. So shout out to him. Thanks to, for him. I got to fix that up. Um, I got to paint it up. And then I got, what else did I fix? I got that Snoopy motorcycle. But you guys know he's not thin. He's in great shape. Jazz band, I made a video on him. Really, really, really excited to have one of those for my display. Uh, I always really liked that one, so I'm glad I finally got one. But yeah, anyways, that's not really the point of this video. But yeah, earlier, if you guys remember until my earlier videos this year, I was using another, you know, remember I was using that rust stuff. Uh, that stuff is complete garbage. Um, I sort of just rushed ahead, if that makes sense, with the videos on that. and. This stuff works. I can't even describe how much better this stuff works. It works a whole ton better. I mean, I would pick this stuff up if you have any thin inflatables. I mean, I've used it on Christmas ones, Halloween ones, anything. It works great in the weather. It's an outdoor primer, so it's actually what it's for. Clear sealer. It's breathable, flexible. It's the reason why I picked this up. I was like, hmm, you know, I got to take it. I needed something else for cheaper. So I was like, I saw this stuff on Amazon. You can see it says, tough, here, let me just try to autofocus. Tough, flexible, breathable film. So I got to thinking like, hmm, that's sort of similar to what's already comes on these things. Cause on the inside it's, you know, obviously it's tough. Well, not obviously that tough, but you know, it's heavy duty. I guess if you want to call it that. It's breathable and this stuff is breathable. It doesn't completely seal them like airtight like the flex seal does and stuff so it is i it is recommended to paint the whole thing because it doesn't do that and then it's flexible so i could you know obviously i could clean it up it won't crease i mean i could probably show you on one of the ones like, like here um i could pull a little bit of this part this part i painted on this one um you see i just crinkled it up nothing i mean this one it didn't really dry crunchy on it for some reason but i didn't let it dry for long enough so it didn't dry like nice and crunchy like this one but yeah um really happy with this stuff so, yeah sorry about you know kind of the rambling video i sort of just babbled about the paint and other stuff i've been fixing but yeah i just want to let you guys know about this uh, yeah um, yeah stay tuned for more halloween videos because there's just gonna be a bunch more coming like Fixing up Halloween stuff now, so yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you guys.